Welcome back to Livy's Lovelies, your inspirational craft channel, and I'm your host, Fam the Fabulous. For more ideas, inspiration, swaps, and challenges, click the link in the description below to join our craft community, The Maker Exchange, on Facebook. Welcome back, welcome back, welcome back, all my artists, creatives, crafters, and makers. Welcome back to the Lovely Lab. All right, so today I am so excited to pile on to share with you my first ever full digital journal kit okay this is not part of it it's just something to cover it up so that i can reveal the big surprise anyway so let me just tell you what prompted me to create this so as many of you know i'm from new york i currently live in the state of georgia so it's a completely different culture in terms of cold weather and um you know the seasons so uh, I do miss quite a bit of things from home. Now I'm from a part of New York that's on the left, furthest left, meaning B Buffalo, Niagara Falls. So you get, although if you're living in one of the smaller cities like Buffalo, you still have access to the rural areas and the farm areas. Um, some industrial, um, all that being said, I come from a place where, it, you know, you get a, quite a bit of diversity, people included. Uh, the culture is a great blend um, from of all different nationalities. And so, quite frankly, um, some, there's a lot of times you'll find things in these um, cities up north that you won't find in the north because that isn't, where people typically immigrate immigrate to. Uh, traditionally speaking, New York State as well as Florida are the places where people would immigrate to for the if they were coming to the United States. So they would come to New York State uh, by way of New York City, and they'd uh, spread out throughout the state. And obviously, they get through get to other parts of the country. So in a lot of those different cities back home, you have families that you know maybe come from. Poland or um, Germany and over time a lot of the cultures begin to blend so those are the things that I miss about home I miss the leaves changing I missed um, you know the different neighborhoods that you can kind of tell the um, craftsmanship that each nationality or ethnicity um, prided itself on whether it was carpentry uh, steel or whatever have you um, I lived in what we call the South Wedge, and in the South Wedge area, uh, the homes were very, very decorated. So you may have a home that's purple with blue doors, yellow with orange and green shutters, um, and they were colonial homes, you know, but everyone had their own aesthetic, and it was kind of the charm of the neighborhood. So. I am not going to continue to bore you with stories of my past, but that is what inspired me because I don't see a lot of the things that I miss about home here in my new home. So without further ado, I'm going to walk you through where I'm from and I'll give you a little history behind each page or, you know, what inspired the pages. All right. So again, this is not going with it. So just so you know, this kit will be available in my Etsy shop. It is 16 pages and now I will make that available for one price. And I will also make a smaller kit available, um, which will have eight pages. So you get a little bit of the larger kit um, that may be better suited for your budget, you know. So, um, and you'll have to check the links below to see which kit is which. Which kit has, if the smaller kit has the pages in it that you're looking for, okay. All right, so I'm going to move this off to the side. All right, so first page, first up. This is my as a basic page. What we have here is you have, you know, just your standard background. It's a, it's, you know, ode to coffee. It gets cold where I'm from uh, at in the middle of September. It has been known to straight up snow on Halloween. I've actually done trick or treating with boots and hats and snowsuits on. Okay, so anyways, coffee is definitely, you know, a t nine month have to have. Okay, you got to stay warm. So we got a couple of coffee splashes, um, got your vintage coffee sign and vintage percolator there, um, the old school back in the day, all right? And so you'll see a little bit of lace, which is a common theme throughout this kit, 
because you cover up so much for six to seven months out of the year that you have got to embellish and indulge with layers that, you know, kind of add some personality to your outerwear. All right. So going, this is going along with what I mentioned earlier with regards to the doors. Um, you may see a, uh, an apartment building with a bright colored door. Uh, may have distinct doors. But, you know, it may be just a, a brick building. Now, you oftentimes you'll see your squirrels hiding those, uh, you know, scavenging for nuts, and uh, you'll see them race away and tuck them away. So, you know, that cold weather, totally different, you know, schedule for the animals, too. So on this page, you have the big brick background. So most of my pages you'll be able to fold in half and journal on one side, if not both sides, or you'll able be able to cut pieces out of them and use them in other layouts. There's the New York State um, uh, stamp, a little bit of newspaper print, and then there's some uh, pumpkin and leaves. And one of the things that I, you know, I enjoy is a di different real versus make-believe. I, I like to add both of those. I want to see both of those in a journal because, I mean, we, we live in the real world. Do we? It, all of it doesn't have to be. I mean, all of it doesn't have to be real. We can add in a little bit of make-believe. So there's a little postcard, some butterflies in here, homemade apple pie. You know the fall is when we harvest our apples back in New York, and so you get your applesauce. You get your apple pie, you get your fritters and all of those other things. Um, where I'm from, farmer's market happens all throughout the year, but during the fall is when the harvest comes in for a lot of farmers. And so they bring the, that part of their um, their goods into the public market or, you know, farmer's market for other people in different places. And uh, they sell their goods there. Now, here's a little building symbolic of the downtown area. And again, there's that door, that bright shine it over and the, the squirrel and the birds they're snuggling together we do bike throughout the year with the exception of in the snow now i have seen quite a few people bike in the snow that's nothing i would advise anybody to do it's quite dangerous a little stack of pumpkins with the word grateful there and then there's a little doily up top and then i've distressed the edges so that you don't have to do it now i when i printed this page i set the printer to print to fit media so you'll want to do the same thing play around with the want the first page to make sure that you get the right um, setting and what you end up with is on an eight uh, eight and a half by eleven sheet of paper you end up with a print that's around ten and three quarters ten and three quarters inches by uh, let's see eight and a quarter okay so that's what you get so again make sure you test print one and I believe the colors will print out as vivid you know it all depends on your printer I am using an Epson 2200 it is an inkjet not a laser print not a laser jet and here again we have the back we have the brick building butterflies we have the apple harvest the changing leaves this is on a book page a vintage book page um, you have the let me see if I can bring it up a little bit for you you have that front door with the reef. You start to see lots of reefs towards the cool weather months because we're getting ready to head on into Thanksgiving and Christmas. Okay. And then this is definitely one of the journaling pages. The one before was uh, one that you could journal, a little, you know, you could, depending on the ink color, you can journal on this side, but you definitely have enough journaling space on this side. Okay. So here we have um, more leaves in the background. We've got some harvested carrots and some mushrooms that you find growing wildly all throughout the city. Yeah, throughout the city. We got a little, couple of musical notes and some faded background ledger paper. Uh, if you can see that, it's real faint in the back. We have another doily. We have the New York, one of the new, oh, excuse me, one of the New York bridges, some washi tape. And the background is a sweater. Um, it's a fabric, sweater fabric. And then we have the United States Postal Stamp right there. And then a little piece of doily at the bottom. Okay. And that's more of a greenish, a teal, a, in, bright in between teal and green color. 
Now here we have the background is a linen color. It's kind of a beige-ish color. And then we have the vintage torn paper right there. You've got the apples and you've got the teacups. And then the public market. This is literally from where I'm from, my city. This is their sign. Um, you got your 20 cent, you got your uh, price tags and the Washington Ave sign. You've got a crocheted doily right there and another one right there. Let me, there we go. Ooh. Okay. And so I've also created a few, two envelopes for the larger kit. And I'll probably throw one into the smaller kit. Now this is more like a sage green, the fabric, a little bit of newspaper there, and then um, a place where you could uh, either put journaling or document it or note it or whatever you want to put inside of this envelope. Now this envelope, which is the same size as this one, there's that public market, the lace, homemade apple pie, there's some harvest right there. Okay, that one will fold up or, you know, once you cut it out, this is the size that you'll come, you'll end up with. All right. So it's got the newspaper print back and the size for this is four and a quarter, a little bit over four and a quarter or four and three eighths by three and a three-eighths nope three and a half now remember with these you can always print them you can enlarge them just a little bit on your printer so that you can get a larger envelope but these are meant to just tuck inside of your journal paper clip them add some ephemera or you can even use it um, you know on the side like this you know sew it in and then use it as a flap open you know however you want to use it that's up to you all right, and so we have on this page, there are two journaling cards. Now, if you, let me make sure you guys can see it. On this one, this is a sweater background. This is cable knit sweater. And that's a deep teal lace. Now I did this because you're not gonna make it through a winter without a, a, a sweater wardrobe back home. You won't, you will not. Sweaters. And leather to block that um, block that cold air so this is a light gray and this is more like a mossy green and again you know in in the fall <laughs> you begin to layer and so between the sweaters and the jackets and the hats and the scarves you still want to look cute so out comes the lace out comes the the variety of color now off to the side of here I have some um, some fall tiles if you will harvest blessed autumn fall grateful thankful and gather and so you can cut those out and add those to your journal pages and be honest with you a lot of these pages you don't have to wait until fall to use here's another uh, page where we have this is an ephemera page along with a journaling card a large journaling card now just so you know these journaling cards are one, uh, five and a five and three quarters by four and three eighths, and the tiles are um, three quarters of an inch. Yeah, three quarters of an inch by it. Look, I think I believe I made this an inch and a half, an inch and a quarter. Okay. Now this journaling card is almost five inches not quite five inches um actually it would have been five inches if i did not shrink it if it wasn't shrunk to print so if you want to enlarge it a little bit to get that full five inches you can so and then it's by six and a half so it's six and a half so it's technically five by six and a half and then you have a couple of tickets fall fest to the fall festival main street uh street signs some beautiful little leaves um price tags that I've I've uh used in the journal, some acorns, the mushrooms. So these you can um you know ex uh you can decorate your journal using some of this ephemera here. 
Okay. Now I've printed this on cardstock, white cardstock, the kind of, by Pen and Gear. It's just basic white cardstock that you can print. It's for your printer, um, and I and it prints very well. It, the ink it does well with the ink, in other words. So now here you see this leather has a little bit. This is kind of symbolic. You know, it kind of symbolizes the scarf that you wear outside. Of your leather jacket to kind of jazz it all up and it's got that white piping stitching right there and then I just wanted to create a little background page and if you wanted to collage with this one you could um, this one is a wood grain background along with um, the mushrooms the acorns some different color leaves a couple of paint splashes splashes ink splashes I should say and then some um, uh, script in the background. I like the way that this came out. So again, you can use this to collage with, you can use this as a filler page, a background page, a pocket, whatever. Now here are the four background pages that I've added for the kit. So this will make up the 16. So we have something like a, uh, it's kind of like, like a sandy colored um, sweater pattern bring that up a little closer so you can see the print okay then we have the green of the same pattern then we have I also included linen just for some texture and this is like a cloverish color and this one I'm not sure what it's looking like on the screen but this is kind of an, a pumpkin color kind of orangish right so I am excited to add this as my very first full junk journal kit um, available in my Etsy shop. And again, this kit contains 16 pages, three journal cards, two envelopes, seven word tiles, and four background prints. Okay? If you have any questions or you need some assistance on the Etsy uh, site, please drop a message in the comments below. I would love to hear from you. And also let me know what of these are your favorite, what is your favorite page in this kit? Um, and I do intend to do one for the winter. So stay tuned for that. It will be uh, with the same uh, feel, urban. So this kit is called the Urban Autumn, okay? Excuse me, an Urban Autumn. So the an Urban Autumn journal kit will be available in my Etsy shop when this video comes up. I'm excited. I hope you will support it, and I hope you guys like it. Let me know which one of these pages you like best, and I cannot wait to see what you guys make with it. And stay tuned. I'll show you what I do with it, all right? So until we're back here again together on YouTube, guys, Stay encouraged, stay blessed, stay creative and crafting. And don't forget, check on your neighbors, check on your elderly, and be good to yourself. It's almost it's almost Christmas and Thanksgiving. You can give gift yourself kindness, all right? Bye. If you enjoyed this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Hit subscribe to join the crafty community and be sure to click the bell for notifications of new uploads. Thank you so much for watching. Now stay tuned for more from Let Us Love This your inspirational craft channel. Bye for now.